In this video, I want to share three easy ways that you can get potential clients' emails on your website. As a business owner, having an email list is going to be a game changer. And there are a couple of reasons why, but mainly because a lot of people who come on your website aren't going to be ready to start working with you. They're still cold leads. They, they don't know you. They've just looked at your website and it's just a lot of information to process. So while they may not be ready to work with you today, if you start building a relationship with them over emails, you share some tips. You can send them more information about you, your company, your values. If you share a lot of free tips and offer a lot of value over emails, you're also putting yourself uh, as an authority in your field. They're going to start trusting you because they can see that you know so much about the topic and you're willing to share all of this for free. Uh, so it's going to make them trust you more. And the other reason is because they're looking at your website today but when they leave and then they go do other things and then you know six months from now they're ready to hire an interior designer they're not going to remember that they looked at your website six months ago so you want to build a relationship so that they always remember about you you're always going to be on their mind because they receive your emails and they're going to remember you when they need a designer so if you still don't have an email list i highly recommend you to start building one right now and start sending emails. It could be weekly or bi-weekly or once a month. It doesn't matter as long as you're consistent with it so that they can expect your email because it's been two weeks and they know they're gonna get a new email from you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you on the computer the three ways that you can get potential clients' emails from your website. Let's go. Okay, so the first way that you can get people's emails is by having a pop-up newsletter uh, window just like this one. Are you a design lover too? Join the community and get access to exclusive updates and design tips. This is one of my clients. She added that. I also have the same one on my website. It's a great way to get people's emails. Uh, basically, as they're scrolling uh, your website, they can, as they're scrolling your website, after a few seconds or a minute, I would definitely maybe do it around uh, 15 to 30 seconds have this pop-up show up on their screen and asking them if they want to join the newsletter and you get their first name, their last name and their email. The second way that you can get people's emails is doing something like an investment guide where you share more information about your company, um, the, the services and your design process, budgeting, your rates, everything that they need to know before they reach out. I would put into an investment guide and then when they try to download it, they have to put their first name and last name if you want and then their email address and then you have the email address and I would definitely, uh, here it's not included, on mine it's included so I'm going to show you mine. On my form to download the investment guide, there's actually a checkbox that says that they consent to me sending them emails uh, with tips, resources and special offers so I would definitely have that so that they don't uh, feel surprised that they've been added uh, to an email list without their consent. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Okay, and then the third way that you can get potential clients' emails is by creating a free guide with information that they need, that they want, and they will want to download this guide for free. For example, this client created a guide, top five design mistakes and how to avoid them. Get your free guide. Based on your ideal client, you can quickly build a free guide with information you know they will want to read about. Uh, and this is going to be a great way for you to get their emails as well. So here she has this contact form, save yourself from costly renovation and design mistakes. She says what's included and then send me the guide. You have to put your first name and your email. And this is how you start building your email list. And once you have their emails, actually you have a video about that. So I'll add the link here. Uh, you can create a welcome sequence. So a, a series of maybe three to five emails where you start introducing uh, your company and whatever information you want to share be before you start sharing random emails. So this is what I do for designers who join my email list. They go through the welcome sequence and then once they've received all the emails from that welcome sequence, they're gonna start receiving the normal newsletters. I have a video about it so you can check it out. If you have questions about those three ways that you can get your emails and start building an email list, please drop a comment down below. 